Here we go then, Martin Vasilik off the inside in red, Bartosz Marslik alongside him in gate number two in blue, Robert Lambert gate number three in white and Freddie Lingwin gate four in yellow. Freddie was fast in practice, not known for his qualifying speed, but this afternoon, or this morning rather, he was uh, very quick indeed. Here we go then, heat four. Tapes are up. Lingren, but it's smiles like out of gate number two. He gets there. Lingren's around the outside, hustling down the back straight. Lingren's done remarkably well there to get the better of Smarsling. Smarsling now coming on strong, pushing uh, Freddie Lingren, but Lingren holds firm out in front. Keeps that uh, bike roaring away out in front. Smarsling now working overtime in second place. So. Robert Lambert at the back, that's disappointing to see for him, but Freddie Lingwin was quick in qualifying and once again here in heat number four looking good. Tell you what, Smiles is going to have to be careful. He really backed into uh, turns three and four there and almost left a big enough hole for Martin Vashing up the inside. Whoa! But he's, I tell you what, Oh, I tell you what, Lingren left a huge hole. Can he get back up the inside with a cutback? I think he's going to. Smarslik's got all the speed again now, though. Fabulous speedway in heat number four. Swapping places for farm for first and second. Bartosz Smarslik. You ride. just cannot keep him behind. Fabulous effort from him. Freddie Lingren looked out like he had it all sewn up, but Smarslik had other ideas. Sensational speedway from the championship leader once again. Set for a fourth world title in five years and rides like that. No wonder. No wonder. That was just astonishing stuff. He sets the benchmark in heat number four for all the opposition. Smarslik, top draw speedway there. Three points from Bartosz Smarslik out in front. Freddie Lingren relegated to second place. Two points, Martin Veselik back in third. One point for him and Robert Lambert misses out in heat number four. But uh, Bartosz Smarslik once again just takes your breath away. Beauty on three points alongside Smarslik, Doyle and Lebedevs, Yunovsky on two, Lingren on two, Dudek the same, Max Frick and then the remainder but just a one ride apiece so far, plenty of racing to come but that man, so hungry, so hungry for success all the time remarkable ride in his first outing. What a ride, he qualified by his standards in a lowly, a lowly eighth place but I tell you what, this was a fabulous ride, he was patient he hasn't raced this track. He had to uh, work out the racing lines. We heard Ty Woodman say that there would be a few. They would develop later on, but Smarslik's worked it out very, very quickly there. As he just dive bombs up the inside, keeps the bike that little bit straighter than Freddie Lingren as they enter the corner and manages to get uh, through the inside. But of course, you do run across. We saw it with Ty Woodman. And once you do that, you run across the corner, leave the hole then for the cutback. And Freddie Lingren. <laughs> Very, very good, but look at that. Lingren has left him a lot of space. Got to say, not sure if he was aware he was coming and elected to get out of the way and go for the uh, cutback, but uh, does it very well, but then just Smarslik's read it straight away. Brilliant ride. Superb effort there. Well, everybody's had a ride now. And Bartosz Smarslik looks like he's settled in quite well. Um, I think I may have understated that, but um, uh, it uh, was an eye-catching performance, no question about on the championship leader. The top two in the championship going head-to-head -head in heat number four, and they did not disappoint. Race of the afternoon so far, comfortably. And uh, when Smarzik's in this sort of form, he is a difficult man to beat. Failed to make the final for the first time in Melilla a month ago.